All right, guys, so short video here. Um, put that motor in that, uh, that 4.3 motor in that uh, Chevy S10 pickup truck. And that's the one that was running great in the other car. And uh, so we got it installed in this one, and it runs great. And uh, once it got hot, I noticed at idle, the oil gauge would just drop to zero. Like weird, like, like a weird drop to zero. Like, huh, I wonder if the sending unit's no good. I actually swapped over to sending units. I took the sending unit off of this truck and put it back onto this truck. So I was like, huh, okay. I don't know if you've ever done a sending unit on one of these, kind of a pain. So I swapped the sending units again, tried it again. As soon as it got hot, same thing. It would like read like 10 PSI, something like that, and all of a sudden just dropped to zero. Well, that's weird, okay. Let me get a new sending unit. Put a new sending unit in, same exact thing. What the heck's going on? So I put a gauge on it, an actual mechanical gauge. And I had it going, looking at it, you know, I had great oil pressure up high, come back down to idle and, you know, read, you know, 20, 19, 18, 17, maybe 15, and then just go away. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Problem with the oil pump, maybe? This is a reman motor. Okay. So to get the diff out of, or to get the oil pan off of one of these things, that's a four wheel drive, it's a little bit of a pain, it's a, it's a job. So let me show you something. So here, I had to take both front hub assemblies off, you know, disconnect ball joints on both sides, take both axles out, take the front diff out to get the oil pan off. There's the oil pan right there. Got the oil pan off, and there was really nothing inside of it. You know, no dirt, no nothing. So I look up, and there's no debris either. So I'm looking up in here, and I'm like, everything looks fine. I grab the connecting rods, you know, and I, went to go just check them you know side to side clearance anything like that nothing i mean you get a little bit of clearance this way that's normal but no side to side like it's got bearing wear so i'm like huh okay so what the heck is going on like is it a defective pump i just happened to grab the oil pickup it slides right out so uh yeah I honestly think it's just aerating the oil. But that's weird. I mean, the other truck that we got was a wreck. The person was driving it. There was no debris in the pan. So maybe did this come loose from the wreck? It wasn't hitting the front. It was a rollover. But it rolled over and landed back on its wheels. So... I don't know. Very, very strange. And the fact that that didn't fall off and land in a pan, because there is plenty of room in the pan. Here, let me show you. I actually cleaned the pan already. But, I mean, there was really no junk or debris in it. It was clean. I just, I cleaned it off because I got to put a new gasket and stuff on there, and I just cleaned the outside of the pan, make it look a little better. But, yeah, that is, that's really, really weird. Um, I had the right weight oil in it. It was just... You know, with the actual gauge, like I said, it'll go down to 20 at idle when it was hot in 19, 18, 17, which is still way above normal. And then all of a sudden it just, it would drop. And I'm like, what the heck? And the only thing I could think of, because technically when you have five quarts of oil in that thing, it should be above that level. But now with the oil pumping and everything else and it's cavitating and whatnot, because there's no real windage tray there. I mean, there is one, you know, in the oil pan itself, but there's not one on the crank. The only thing I could think of is it's cavitating enough so where that portion where the tube goes into the pump where maybe it's just it's picking up air that's the only thing I could think of. So I've got a new oil pump on its way. I'm going to put a pump in it. At this point we're putting a pump in it. They're cheap enough. So got a new pump on its way. Going to put a new screen in it and we're going to get this back together and see how it runs and see what the oil pressure does. All right guys so that's it for now. If you're getting anything out of my videos hit that like button. If you could please subscribe. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.